friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be vlogging today. I'm gonna share a day in the life video and just kind of take you guys along with me as I share my day. Um, I wanted to say hello to all of my new subscribers here. I am so glad you guys are here and cannot wait to get to know you guys in the comment section down below. So please leave me a comment telling me a little bit about yourselves. I would love to know where you're from, what your favorite food is. Um, I am going to head to the library right now. We are going to the library to get some books and get our library card. Opal is very excited, huh Opal? She's so excited you guys. So we're gonna go to the library and then I think I'm gonna take you guys to Sprouts with me. So stay tuned for a fun day. Do you like your books? <laughs> All right, we have finished our errands. We had a fun date at the library. We both got some books. I'll show you guys the books that we picked out um, and the books that I picked out to read. And I will also show you guys a Sprouts grocery haul when we get home. So I'll see you guys then. All right, now that we're back, I just gave Opal some lunch. It's more of a snack lunch. I made bacon this morning, so she requested some um, bacon slices and then I gave, yeah, do you want some more? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you some more. <laughs> and then I gave her a half of a banana, a quarter of a perfect bar, and what else did I give you? Oh, some sliced up grapes. She loves grapes and they're a really good deal at Sprouts right now. Um, so I gave her some of those. I'm gonna grab her some more bacon really quick and then I will show you guys real fast what I got from Sprouts Farmer's Market. And then I am going to put her down for a nap. It's currently 11 o'clock and she usually goes down around 11 30 or 12. Um, lately she's been waking up at like 6 30 in the morning which is really frustrating because I'm trying to get up before she wakes up in the morning and 5 a.m. is just not realistic for me at all whatsoever never um so i'm gonna show you guys what i got from sprouts really quick okay, so i've shared this before but we buy filtered water the water here in arizona tastes funny and it's not um pure water so we buy spring water from um sprouts and then i will also occasionally buy the purified water from costco in the big jugs so i grabbed three gallons of water some organic baby cut carrots. I love these with hummus. I like them in salads. Opal loves carrots. It's a new favorite snack of hers with some peanut butter or um, a little bit of butter. She loves those. Some organic parsley. I like adding this to my green drinks. I'm gonna make some salmon, so I'm also gonna add it with my salmon. It's also good in salads, sauteed in eggs. Some organic celery for my green juice again. And then I think I'm gonna try making Opal those little um, what are they called? They're like the logs with the little raisins. They're like bugs in a log or something like that. Ants in a log? I think it's ants in a log. So I'm gonna make her some of those. And then I have some sweet potatoes. These are organic because these are on the dirty, dirty dozen list. And I'm really trying to be good about the dirty dozen list and buy organic. This is um, wild Alaskan salmon. This is $7.99 a pound right now at Sprouts. Such a good deal, you guys. Run, don't walk. I want more grapes. You want more grapes? Okay, just one second. Then we have a plethora of perfect bars. Give me a second, guys. I'm gonna fix Opal's problems. All right, real life. Um, so I grabbed some perfect bars, quite a few of them, because it's buy one, get one. So it was $1.30 a bar, which is probably one of the lowest prices I've ever seen on perfect bars. So I got a couple of the dark chocolate almond. These are our family's favorites. And then Wyatt really likes the chocolate walnut brownie ones. These are also really good. We love the coconut peanut butter one. Honestly, there hasn't been a flavor that we don't like. I've loved all the flavors. This is the one flavor I don't think we've tried yet. This is the fruit and nut flavor. Um, so I'll let you guys know how we like that one, but I just got a variety of different bars. This one is also really good, and it's deceivingly sweet. Like, it's it's super sweet and really yummy. Um, this is kind of like a dessert for me when I eat that one. 
And then they had um, blanched almond flour for $8.99 a pound, which is almost, I think it's cheaper than Costco right now. Costco just raised their price on almond flour. So I grabbed a bag of that, a little over a pound of it for baking. And then they have organic, um, free range, happy eggs, buy one, get one free. So it's a really good deal. It's essentially about $2.99 a dozen. And these are really, really good eggs, hormone, pesticide, and antibiotic free on nine acres of free range chicken land. So this is just a really good deal on high quality eggs. And that's pretty much everything I got from Sprouts. Hold up, I forgot to show you guys one of the very most important things. Um, I have discovered the So Delicious No Sugar Added um, Coconut Milk Ice Cream. I avoid dairy for the most part aside from grass-fed butter and occasional cheese. So this is a treat for me because it's dairy-free and it's no sugar added. So they do use a sugar alcohol in here. But after a lot of research and having so many limitations, I have given myself the flexibility to have this. But this is by far, if you are a type 1 diabetic and you um, follow me on Instagram or YouTube, you know that I love sharing favorites like this. Definitely check it out. Try it out. This does not spike my blood sugar. There's 18 carbs and there's 11 grams of dietary fiber. So that cancels out to be about 7 carbs per half cup. That is insane. So essentially, I could have a cup of ice cream for only 14 carbs which is amazing. Here's my lunch. I am eating a paleo gluten-free bagel. These are so good. I have the recipe saved on my Instagram. Um, click the link to my Instagram in my description box if you guys wanna follow me there. But they are so good. I have some um, organic holy guacamole from Costco, and then I have some organic microgreens, an organic apple with some organic peanut butter, and some fresh mozzarella cheese. This is my one splurge during the day. I will always treat myself to one piece of cheese and also some grass-fed butter. Super important to have balance, even with restrictions. So, um, and these provide a lot of good nutrients for me, even though I have thyroid issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this, and I'll catch up with you guys. I am so flipping excited about this, you guys. So I bought an almond cow. I am so excited to show you guys what it does. Essentially, what it does is it makes nut milk. You can use any type of nut that you want, peanut, hazelnut, almonds, um, macadamia nuts, um, oats, you can use oats in this as well, and it makes milk within 45 seconds. One cup of um, almonds makes about five cups of almond milk with water added. So this is insane. I have a discount code for you guys linked down below in the description box if you guys want to get your own almond cow to make your own nut milks at home without all of the yucky emulsifiers and additives and gums. Um, that is the primary reason I decided to invest in this. Becoming a nutritional therapist has opened my eyes to a lot of different things, but also my research has opened up my eyes to a lot of different things, namely um, nut milks. Opal and I don't drink dairy milk, so I rely heavily on almond milk or coconut milk. You can also use coconuts in this. Um, but I wanted to invest in this because I know that I'm going to get a lot of really good use out of it, 
and I also am going to be avoiding any added sweeteners, any added gums, any added emulsifiers, um, other ingredients like salt or synthetic vitamins. Um, so I'm really excited to use this and to show you guys how it works. But if you guys are interested in looking into the almond cow, click the link down below in my description box for So I'm going to test out the almond cow. I will be making a whole separate video on this um, almond cow device. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that video, be sure to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and I will have a video coming out soon on the almond cow, how to use it, pros and cons, what I love about it, and why I ended up going with it. All right, it is quite a bit later now. I just put my potatoes in my bowl. I like to store my potatoes out of the direct sunlight. Um, it's much better for your potatoes to be out of the light. So I store mine way up here in my pantry on the top shelf and they stay better for a lot longer. So just a little tip for the day. Um, Opal just woke up a little bit ago. It is 2 11 right now she went down at like 11 30 you guys that is a solid nap for this kid so i'm gonna go get her up from her nap me all wrong i was so mistaken because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever and i feel so free Oh, my sweet baby. Yeah. Oh, you like you like the clip. Um, do you want some dry, freeze dried strawberries? Yeah. Do you want some strawberries, or do you want an applesauce or popcorn? Uh, the sweet what do you want? Huh? You want some popcorn? Huh? No. no? Well, that was really cool. So this is what it looks like now that it's done. And I have these glass bottles linked down below in my description box in my Amazon storefront if you guys wanna check them out. But this is what I will be storing our almond milk in. All right, friends, I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends. Yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever. I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. I was never the one to give up the ghost. No, I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. Wanted to give up, cause nothing was changing.